Do you have like a wish list of things you want to see in Tears of the Kingdom? I do, I do. Do you have a list of things that you would hate to see in Tears of the Kingdom? Like things that might ruin the game? Things that would ruin the game. Oh, that's a really good idea. Yeah. Maybe we should make a video about this. We should, that's a good idea. Oh, hey, didn't Turns see you there. Turns out we're already here. <laughs> <sighs> so cringe. Sorry, sorry. So I'm gonna start not with the thing that I want the most because I'm gonna save that till the end. So you guys have to stay to the end to find out the thing that we most want in Tears of the Kingdom. But we also thought it would be easier to organize it like I'll talk about the things that we do want and then Tom will talk about the things that we don't want. I'm the so negative influence on today's video. Exactly, Sorry. exactly. So the thing that I want second most in Tears of the Kingdom is more story. Obviously, Breath of the Wilds didn't have a lot of story in it and all of the story took place like a hundred years before. So more story and like a story that's taking place like at the time, right? We want to be able to play the story. Exactly. That leads us nicely into our first don't want. Linearity. We don't want this game to be too linear and we know there's a fine line between telling a really great story there and is. having a linear gameplay experience. But if anybody can get that right, it's the developers of Zelda. We want that story, but we also want it to be as open as Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Are we asking for too much? Is that too much of an ask? Maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we will. One of my favorite things about Breath of the Wild was finding horses. I honestly did it basically every time I picked up the game, I would find a new horse. I swear you spent like half your playthrough finding and riding horses. I was playing the other day and I found two new horses, <laughs> <laughs> like 200 hours in. But what would really make Tears of the Kingdom special is if they had loft wings, right? They're having the sky islands, it's skyward sword vibes. Loft wings, they would be so cool. Or if not loft wings, at least some other sort of rideable mount because I did see some dragons. Yeah. I, was... I would accept dragons. Yeah. Any okay. kind of flying mount would be nice. I would take it. Pegasus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you can get the hoverboards, but I want like a creature. It's not the yeah. same when it's just a hoverboard. We're just going to quickly interrupt this list by asking you, have you hit that subscribe button down there yet? Because you totally should. <laughs> Korok freaking seeds. If I never see another Korok seed in my whole life, it'll be too soon. I completed every single shrine, every single side quest in Breath of the Wild, and my percentage of game completion is sitting at something like 30 because I've only got like 30 Korok seeds. Out of all 900. Does anybody have the time or patience to collect 900 Korok seeds? No, <laughs> I don't want that. I would like it if there was some sort of collectible, but 900 Korok seeds again would. It's too much. Yeah. It's just too much. And have them not count towards your percentage or at least a lower. A lower, yeah, a lower percentile. I think it's because there was like 900 that it was so big, but <laughs> make us collect a, just a few less. So I might get bullied a little bit actually for not making this my top thing that I want to see in Tears of the Kingdom, but dungeons. I would really like to see some dungeons. I liked the shrines and I liked the divine beasts, but dungeons- Divine beasts were dungeons. Get it all out. <laughs> Sorry. Did you say something? <laughs> but we just want a good old traditional dungeon with the puzzles and all of that back. Doesn't mean we have to say goodbye to shrines. No, I did like the shrines. Yeah, I think a nice combination of both. Again, we just want everything in this game. <laughs> We 
We don't really want to see the same repetition of monsters that there was in Breath of the Wild. Mm -hmm. Now this kind of ties into dungeons a bit because it would be nice to have each dungeon have their own set of unique monsters maybe. I would like a wall master actually. How creepy would that be in Tears of the Kingdom? Oh yeah, no, nah, no thanks. <laughs> but also yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the overworld, like maybe if there just wasn't a blue Bacoblin and they just had a whole nother enemy. Instead, I think this is a little bit of wishful thinking because we've already seen Bokoblins with like crazy horns to get different horns to, to meld together, but... At mm. least that would give them more of a purpose than yeah. just a blue one, a red one, a black one, a white one, you know? We just want some more monster variety. Exactly. We? we just yeah. want a bit of variety in the designs. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. This is another really obvious one and a really popular one as well at that, but I really want to be Zelda. I know I'm not alone when I say this. So maybe if we all band together and we all get some pitchforks and some like torches and some fire and then we start a riot, maybe they'll give us playable Zelda. Okay. Okay, let's actually not do that. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do that. Maybe we could like all Naruto run around the Nintendo building. Like they went to do with Area 51? Yes. Uh, that's yep. how we'll dodge Nintendo bullets. Yep. We are all going to cosplay. Run. We're going to cosplay as Zelda and we're going to Naruto run around the Nintendo, <laughs> oh the Nintendo building. It's just as bad of an idea. Well, at least it doesn't have like pitchforks and fire though. Philip. That's true. Less violence. Yeah. Less mm. violence. Yeah. We know it's already been confirmed that the weapon durability is back. Honestly, we both kind of like it as it's like strategic element to the gameplay, but this, this is a for the people video. <laughs> and we know that the people as a whole kind of have a problem with the, the breakable weapons in Breath of the Wild. So it looks like being able to fuse things together is going to combat this slightly. Maybe they could add a blacksmith or something as well, if there's something you just really want to keep. The Gorons know? would be a perfect blacksmith. Exactly. When I had one of those champion weapons that you get after the Divine Beast, I would have to just hang them up in my house. And never use them. And never use them. Yeah. And that was like... That's exactly what I did. Yeah, yeah, it's such a shame. So it would be nice if you could get them like reforged or fixed or whatever, you know. So I kind of touched on this in our last Zelda theories video, but I would really like some underwater exploration. Underwater was like pretty much the only place that we didn't get to explore in Breath of the Wild okay. and in Tears of the Kingdom, we get to explore the sky. So I would really like to be able to swim underwater, you know, there's already underwater swimming animations for Link. So it would be so easy to just, you know. The Horizon Forbidden West DLC has just dropped and the underwater world in that is incredible and it's got me even more hopeful that we're going to get something similar in Tears of the Kingdom. And it's not like you've never been able to explore underwater in any other Zelda game, like it's quite mm. common actually, so it would make sense. The final thing that we don't want from Tears of the Kingdom, despite all these things that we're saying, at the end of the day, Nintendo made a near perfect game with Breath of the Wild. So we don't want Tears of the Kingdom to be too different. It's that simple. There are a couple of little tweaks that they could have. They've given us the Sky Islands, but don't go too hard, man. Yeah, don't change it too <laughs> yep. much. Don't fix it if it's not broke. <laughs> Thank you. No worries. So I know we told you that we were going to save the best for last and we have, we have. So the thing that we want most in Tears of the Kingdom is obviously... Tingle. 